Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Shenanigans. Because, yes, degrading and <laughs> The Legend of Zelda's Skyward Sword. So in the last episode we unlocked the entryway to go to this part of the dungeon I guess. So anyway, so I, I already said so anyway. You can't use so anyway like two times in a row. Anyway, <laughs> did that one on purpose because whatever. So this is the shortcut over here, I believe. Yes, it is. I don't exactly know how many times I've even used this shortcut, so I don't know its usefulness. <laughs> Sorry to say, I guess, now that that's like a thing. Oh, it's not worth doing this because it's not useful. Uh. So let's get the... Is there still a guy? I think I heard him. Oh, whatever. So anyway, we just go over here. Over here, as in take the claw shots and miss terribly. Because that's what I do. Yeah, I'm like... Like, I'm holding the Wii Remote. Like, I was literally holding the Wii Remote sideways there. I, I have no idea what happened. But it works. Because, whatever. Oh, look, another one. It's like... Deja Vu or something. Hello. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! I don't know who you are or where you've come from. Where have I heard that line before? Ellipsis. Because I'm a mute. Remember? I'm not asking you to do this for nothing. He's like, a big gigantic secret. What is the secret? Could it be the dungeon map? Because I think, for, if my memory serves me correctly, I think that's what it gives us. But it's like, oh hold, the roleplay. I made this dungeon map from the information that I've gathered from this area or something. So this is where I guess the, um, the Z thing... <laughs> Yeah, good name. This is where this comes in um, handy, I guess, because you can actually see what you're doing. For some reason, I remember getting like stuck a lot in this part. I don't know if it's because I forgot that you could do this so you could, you know, see what you're doing or what. I believe now what we do is we go all the way. No, we can't because that thing's blocking us. So how do we do this again? Because I remember there's like one thing that you hit. And then you can pretty much, like, finish. I can't go down here, can I? Like, is this a... Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah, you can't break these boxes. They're pretty much obstacles, like, so you can't actually go the way that makes any sense. Which probably doesn't. So I guess we do that, but we can't just do that because that doesn't... Oh, okay, we do this one first, I guess. Yeah, this one can be, like, weird. See, the thing that I'm, like, in my mind... Like, when I pass the the light, you know, the beaming light, I always think that it's going to automatically put me back up so I can't go through it. But that's not the case. You actually have to press the A button in order to not go up, if that makes any sense. You see, that blocked off the way, and that's not what we want. So I think what we do is now we hit this one, and then we go back and... Hit the other one? Not exactly sure. Like, I'm not remembering this, um, fully. But, is this still blocked off or can we do this? No, but we can go this way now, right? Yes. <laughs> this might be the solution? Let's see, hopefully it is. Yeah, this part gave me a lot of problem with the first time, because now, as you can see, this part is blocked off. But I believe this part, yeah, this part we can just go through now. And all that. Because that's what confused me back then. Because it's like, oh, this part's blocked off. But I'd never realized that, you know, this isn't here anymore. So you can just literally walk right through it. So, you know, basically in short, it's supposed to be a lot easier than what I just made it out to be. But I guess that's what happens when you don't play the game in a while. I guess. <laughs> do we have bombs? Okay, yeah, we do. Because we need, we actually need bombs in a little bit. I don't remember if this is a secret or if this is mandatory. I think it's mandatory because I believe he tells you. Hooray! This is sweet, sweet favor of freedom. Flavor? Yeah, I said flavor. <laughs> you really think I would um, give you stuff? Super secret info? I'm pressing the button and my, my fingernail is like skidding off the button in like such a way. I helped him. Oh, <laughs> well I moved the joystick to the left. I don't know why. I should have said I helped him. I like how we're talking through, like, the thing. Whatever. Will there ever be, like, a game where Link actually speaks? Or has there already been and I just haven't played it? I don't know. 
Like, I haven't played like every single Zelda game. I've only played like a handful of them. I, I haven't played Twilight Princess. I haven't played a lot of games. You know, Twilight Princess is like, wait, don't tell anyone, okay. Okay, it's a secret. <laughs> I should have just stayed in mute. Just put the ellipses. But yes, um, Twilight Princess is like one of those games that I really should play. It's pretty much one of those games. You know, you have to play it, but I've, I never did. I don't know if it's because I just wasn't interested or if I could like never find a copy of the game. Probably both in a way. But anyway, what does this give? Is this the map or is this the other thing? Let's see. Give me the map! From Dora the Explorer. I'm the map. <laughs> what have you given me? Ooh, look at that flame. There's a couple more treasure chests. I actually saw one that I missed over there on the, you know, bottom left of the map. Not that you can see it anymore, so I don't even know why I'm still talking about it. <laughs> a hidden route. I know where the hidden route is. <clears throat> That's where the hidden route is. Blow up. Blow up. Now, okay. <laughs> I am so good. I called it. I totally called when it was going to blow up because I'm I'm that, I'm just that good. So anyway, it's another burrowing section because they love using the thing that they just gave us. See a red rupee over there? I'll get it just because why not? Money. <laughs> You know, you, you need money to upgrade stuff, so I guess you might as well take it. And this guy, this guy is annoying. Just because he's not hard, but you have to wait for him to actually reveal, you know, his weak spot. Which obviously is the ball thing at the, <laughs> at the end of him. Haha. <laughs> well, this one, you don't have to kill him. Like, you don't need to actually kill that one. You just go to the the light but later on they actually throw two of them at you that you need to kill it's actually mandatory which can kind of you know be annoying but oh well you do what you do i guess <laughs> pretty much every single zelda game in existence because everything's a giant puzzle yay is this a key i think it's a key key yes it is one of my instincts ever been wrong inserts clips of Five billion times my instincts have been wrong. Oh well. <laughs> um, that's not what I meant to do. This key, I believe, it goes back to the very beginning where we just were. Like I think at the start of the video, there was a locked door to the right. I think. But man, that took like seven minutes to do. I can't believe that took that long to do. <laughs> to be honest, can I get you? Yes, I can. Yeah, I don't know what's with these hookshot segments, like, I have to literally hold the Wii remote, like, tilted, like, sideways. I don't know if it's, like, an instinct, uh, instinct type thing that I do that, but it's just weird. Because, like, I don't need to do that, but, like, when I look down at my hand, it, like, I just notice that I'm holding the Wii remote completely sideways, even though I don't need to do that. And it's just weird, I guess. Like, my life. <laughs> my life in general is weird. Everything about the Joe is weird. <clears throat> yeah, um, about the audio quality, I know this is kind of like a weird jump. But I have been noticing that the audio, um, audio quality, especially in the last episode, can be, like, kind of off. Mainly because I'm, you know, I'm not actually speaking into the mic. The mic is, like, next to me, but, um, it, it... <laughs> that arrow it's off to my left it's, it's not that far off to my left but you know you can notice the the difference in the quality as opposed to the other videos that I do because in those videos I'm actually talking into the mic but these on um, this one I can't do that for specific reasons mainly um, just this game because of the motion control but if I do other games I probably will like the audio would be better Actually, um, want to invest into a like a boom arm so I can actually, um, you know, adjust the mic into like a proper position. If that makes any sense, I need to get these hearts because I'm realizing I'm dying for no reason. So I believe um, up we are gonna get a heart piece, and this is this is pretty much like a mandatory heart piece. It's not mandatory, but it's like you're not gonna miss it because it literally just gives it to you. If that makes any sense. Is this the thing that I'm thinking of where you have to chase the magma? This one's annoying. It's not hard, but I can never catch him. Like, it usually takes me like a minute or two. It's weird. 
Aha, so busy, so busy, burning the middle the midnight oil again. The midnight oil. Yeah, um, this dungeon is probably gonna take three episodes now that I'm looking at the time, because I'm I'm pretty much reaching ten minutes right now. I don't know, you know, it's like <laughs> I don't know what I can do in ten minutes, I guess. I could do like the entire rest of the dungeon in like two um ten minutes. Yeah, this guy, you pretty much have to catch him, but it's like one of those things where, you know, right as soon as he... Wait, but as long as the way ahead of me is clear. Aha, secrets, or hints. So I guess you do this and you pretty much get him. Yeah, but as soon as he, like, runs, like, Sanic. Wait, is he gonna go up? I think you have to head him off. Haha! -ha! Yes! <laughs> that is the secret, I guess. The secrets. Yeah, um, pretty much this guy is literally gonna give me a heart piece. That's right, um, yeah, that's right. I think I accidentally centered the Wii Remote. You're all green, I thought you were a monster. Well, I'm not that weak, I'm not one of those stupid archery monsters that literally dies in one hit. Probably in, like, um, a lot of hits, however many hearts I have hits, I guess. You know, some monsters seem to be looking for something, um, on the cliffs. What were they looking for? I don't know. <laughs> no one knows what they're looking for, because what they're looking for is, like, none of my business. I would say that, but it's, like, totally my business, or else I wouldn't be doing this. Open sesame! And this is a heart container! Yes, no, a piece. A piece of heart. Heart container gives you a full thing, Joe. Stop being dumb. So, let's just throw a bomb at this guy and hit him. Because succession and stuff. Oh jeez, I remember getting stuck like, uh, like, for literally ten minutes. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. Let's see if I do this correctly. Like, I had a major brain fart the last time I played this. I, I really don't know why. That's obviously not what I was supposed to do, but whatever. Can I catch it? Can I catch the boat? No, I can't. The the cutscene was too long, man. Why? Why do you do this, Link? <laughs> I know your butt's on fire, but those earrings should negate, like, all burning effects, if that makes any sense. Hello. He's gonna try to spit stuff at me, but that's not gonna work. So, I guess this is, like, a shortcut. You know, this opens the way where we pretty much just came. And then we have archery guys that literally die in, like, 0.2 seconds. If you could hit them, that is. Okay, so, um, basically, these guys are, like... You know, they're blocked up. But, you know, I couldn't find what I was supposed to do. Like, I was entering the door and doing all this. And it turns out there's a burying, like, there's a burrow thing here. And apparently I just didn't see that. Like, it, I, I guess it just blends in so well. Now that I look at it, it looks obvious. But I don't know why I couldn't find it before. Oh, this is going to be fun. Can you guess why they have these stamina fruit here? You, you'll know why in like two seconds why you like why it's here bombs eh. oh look at this you can't even run like you can't even run in the cutscene why game oh man look at that beautiful wee lava 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 words <laughs> so pretty much um i think the game is designed to like be yeah like it literally gives you stamina fruit right when you're gonna like, right when you are about to be tired, I guess. Make it! Yes, we did. I don't think I've ever failed that. Like, that's kind of hard to fail, you know? As long as you just pretty much go back the way you came from, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be A-O good. So, pretty much what we just did is we um, regained the flow. Or not regained, but we just started the flow of lava. So now when we... Um, hit this thing. Get out of here. Get out of here, jelly blob. <laughs> More time wasted. Good, nice. That's exactly what I was going for. <clears throat> but, no. I think I need to recenter my thing again. <laughs> because it's it seems to be off-centered again. Because it always is. Let's just kill these guys. I think there's a archer dude, like, right above my head. No, okay, that was a, that was something else. But anyway, yeah, we have the flow back to the lava, so now we can do this. 
and the flow of the lava will actually push the rock platform, you know, over here to the left, which is obviously where we need to go. Uh, I don't think this dungeon's that much longer, to be honest. I don't remember. You know, obviously I'm going to be able to complete it in the next episode, because we're pretty much, you know, nearing the end. Because the, not that, the boss door is right there, and this is the part where the, the, the you know, the giant secret type thing, you can go to the left or to the right. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go to the left. Let's see, am I right or am I wrong? Yes, because when you dive off this, it, um, a platform appears. And it's like, you can never explore that, because you can't go back up here, it just pushes you off. And when you're on the top of it, it just pushes you off, which is weird, because you wouldn't think it would because it's a flat surface, but oh well. <clears throat> hmm, I don't know about this. Like, I still have five minutes, I might be able to do this, like, I might be able to get right to the boss door. Oh, not this, not this, why the two of them? Why? Like, <laughs> this is not... And now I can't even hit him. <laughs> I can't hit him because he's um trying to do the thing. Jump. Oh. You see then the thing is if you um like if you let him hit you or let him hit you, if you hit his um arm guard, you get stunned and there's literally no way to avoid it, which is like eh, ew, why? At least they do drop a lot of hearts. Yeah, the the funny thing about these guys is when they drop their tail. Obviously, you know, it's purple, but when you pick it up, it turns into, like, a normal green lizard tail, which is weird. Um, which is the door that I just came from? Was it this one? <laughs> I'm so dumb. I, I think this is the one that we went through, right? Right, or no. Yes, it is the one we need to go in, because it, the, the other one didn't have steps, so that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. And, the, the you know, the part that... Um, where you have to actually, um, kill those worm things out parts coming up. That's gonna be fun. <clears throat> I don't think that, um, that's too far off. Oh man, yeah, it's really bad when they hit you, because if they hit you on the vines, I think you just pretty much go flying off. I don't know, though. And if they hit you again, I think it restarts the timer thing for the... Um, the purple goo stuff. I don't even know what it's called, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. And this is the last, th this is basically the last room of the temple. So to be honest, I could actually do this overtime and do the boss. That would make more sense. So this video might be like 25, even 30 minutes long. I don't know though. So pretty much, you know, this is um, doing it in the order. Obviously, that was zero. The next one is one. Pretty much um, determined by the wings. And number two is in the up upper right. And this is the one, you know, they're locked over there. So it's like you have the... That's pretty much the thing to look forward to. And the bottom doesn't set off the thing. So that's good. So now we come over here the bomb I was waiting for the bombs to explode and this is two yeah because it starts from zero which is odd okay two and then is that three I can't tell if that's three or not oh geez <laughs> one I can't tell like one okay that's four like I can't tell because I can't tell if there's what if there's um, one underneath yeah, that's three. Like, so odd. It usually doesn't give me that much problem, but now that we've unlocked this, it unlocks the treasure, but it also unlocks enemies! I think it gives us two, right? Or one. Actually, this might be the only one. Maybe. And... Get wrecked. Yeah, it only gives us one, so it's nice. I thought it gave us two. No... No! No! <laughs> oh, see that song? I, I tired myself out. And usually what you want him to do is you want him to bump his head on the wall. And that usually, you know, stuns him for enough time. Oh, uh, yeah, see, but if he hits you, he doesn't get stunned. Which is the... Uh, oh, man, I missed him. Which is the thing you want to 
you know, whatever. Whatever I was gonna say. Can we cut him off? Can no. Okay, so get him to look at you and then do that. Oh man, he didn't pump his head. See, then the thing about this is you can't turn around. Like, if you're walking backwards, there's no way to turn around. Okay, do that, and then he'll get stunned. How did he not get stunned? <laughs> what? What is that? Shenanigans, I say. It. Then you want to stop the um, refill your energy faster. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, please go up so I can hit you. This normally doesn't take that long. I don't know why he didn't bump his head on the, the thing there, because usually he does. Because you go here, and then like you wait him out. Yeah, and then he bumps his head. And then that should give you enough time. No? Okay. I didn't know that it did it that fast. Let's see. Uh, um, man, it, it doesn't even give you enough time to do that. Do that again. I probably could have hit him there, but anyway. Yes. I'm doing the exact same thing, and it's not working. Oh, man, I could have hit him. I could have hit him, but it didn't work. No, don't let him see you, and then let him go. Oh, man, I went up too much. I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to lure him up. Oh, I could have hit him there. See, like, there's so many opportunities, but it's like you never... <sighs> something. See, and then it's like you run out of stamina. Like, if stamina wasn't a thing in this game, you could do... You, like, you know how many things would be so much easier in this game if you didn't have stamina? Like, it's ridiculous. Like, if you actually think about, you know, what things cost stamina and what you're limited to because of the stamina, if that makes any sense. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a longer video because I actually want to do the boss. I'm only at, like, 21 minutes, so I'm not even that far over time. And the boss shouldn't take that long. This is actually kind of an easy boss. You know, it's not going to be easy, though, me doing the stupid puzzle because I hate these. Like, I really don't care for the way that they give you the boss key in this game because, obviously, it's, you know, it's a stupid puzzle. I, it was better when it was just... You got the boss key, and then there, you open the boss door. You know, it's not hard or anything, but it's like, I don't know. It's just annoying, I guess, that they make you do this dumb puzzle thing. It's like, oh, test out the motion controls with these new fascinating puzzles. It's like, I don't know, it's just dumb. <laughs> like, everything in this game, right? Because everything's so stupid, yeah. So now, um... This one shouldn't be that bad. There's an enemy over there, but I'm gonna do this while he's whatever. Is this it already? Oh jeez. <laughs> well, that was actually easy. I was gonna cut like 30 seconds, you know, to where I was actually gonna do stuff. But um, normally when you get the key, I think I've already explained this, but normally when you get the key, it'll um, orientate it or orient it, whatever. <laughs> the words I, I struggle with words because i'm dumb but usually it puts the um it usually puts the the thing <laughs> the puzzle thingy um pretty much in the right way so you usually have to spin it like once or twice and it's literally done but it's like when you mess it up then it's not like that and then you're just finicking all over with it oh hello there joe my name is Joe. It's so weird, like, him referring to me as Joe. I totally forgot that, like, I made the account Joe. It is a Joe. Yeah. Look at these old drawings. The drawings? They're very pixelated drawings. At least on my screen they are, because this screen is, like, HD, and, like, the uh, older games, it doesn't seem to handle them as well. Uh, you, you wouldn't think that would be the case, but it kind of is. I've been a busy boy searching here and there and everywhere for another gate of time. Because you're totally gonna find another gate of time. <laughs> Whatever. And yet, I couldn't even find a single clue. Since I know I can be honest with you, I, I'll admit I got a little sulky. He's sulky! Scully, sulky. I don't I don't know what those have to do with one another, but oh well. The thought of never getting my hands on the, that darling young girl again was well more than I could bear. Yes, you cannot bear the things of life. <laughs> like, how do you just go from in front of me to behind me in like two seconds? It's weird. <clears throat> Voice crack, it's so weird. That's a girl, your adorable friend. Hmm, the fact that he says adorable friend. Like, this kind of says something. 
Th this is an interesting thumbnail already. Everyone, everyone uses this as the thumbnail. Like every every single time they get to this part, uh, like nine times out of ten, this is a thumbnail, and it kind of makes sense. You know, I am gonna make that the thumbnail just because it's easy and I can get away with that. But oh well. Like, why am I talking about what I'm gonna make the thumbnail into? Like, who cares? Like, really? He's ready. He's like, my body is ready. Such behavior, mischievous boy like you needs to be dealt with firmly. Firmly grasp it. I need to firmly grasp my mind. <laughs> like, oh. Like, what are you doing? He's black now. Lovely, aren't they? Yes. Your your ability to turn, you know, change your skin color is, am is amazing. Behold, my stunning features. Yeah, my features. <laughs> Like, what is this? Is, is this what they do in Japan now? Like, I don't even know. Yes, I'm pretty much. Wait, I've pretty much got it all. I've got all the latest features. Namely, Mercy. I could make that the thumbnail, but, like, what's the fun in that? I think I already have a thumbnail that's like that. So, come close, Joe. Meet me in battle, and the thread of fate that binds us will be soaked crimson with your blood. That That's kind of... deep. <laughs> Dark. Deep and dark. Okay, so, you know, normally in these fights you wanna get away with, um, get away from him. And, is this this one? Yes, it is. Okay, the camera was, like, weird there. So, just do this again and hit him. You know, it's not always gonna be this easy, obviously, but... Go as far away from him as possible so you can actually react to this. Because usually when he throws one of them at you, um, I just shield bash it. But because if you don't shield bash it, it's just gonna go in whatever direction the sword was in. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And uh, I'm expecting him to like throw them. No, um, let me see actually. No, oops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Um, I think he does like the range attack when you're um not by him or something. Shield bash again, and the cool thing is it doesn't even matter if I fail, because this, like, the shield, like, regenerates. Can do this? Oh, that was too slow. No! Oh, I got him. <laughs> that was totally unintentional. Ugh, ugh. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, he can actually steal your sword. I've, I've never seen him steal my sword, though, because, like, it, it's one of those things that just barely happens, I guess. Yeah, I could have shield bashed that and um, hit them all to him, but whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, I, oh, come on. I was trying to hit the the thing away from him. Yeah, usually um, you like hit one of them away and then they pretty much all go away, if that makes any sense. Now he has the swords. Now this phase is easier. I like this phase a lot better. Licking the sword blades. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to shield bash, but it didn't work. And then he pretty much gives himself out, like, okay. Like, he's he's doing it again. Like, let's see, can I get a combo on him? And then pretty much keep backflipping, because, yeah, he'll keep on doing that, and you can pretty much get free hits on him when he does that. Again? He's doing the exact same pose. So, like I said, just keep backflipping, or whatever you do. Oh. Do that? Yeah, I remember my first time playing, I didn't even know what to do when it did that. Like, for some reason, I totally forgot about spinning. Okay, so this time, he's gonna do all this. And this is fun, because it's like, you get to play around with the motion controls. Yay! So, when he, yeah, when he does that, he's gonna do that. And this should not be that long, to be honest. Ugh. Can I kill him with, like, his orb things? Because I've never managed to do that. Uh, voice. My voice hates me tonight. Yes. Tonight. It's not even the night. It's like the day. It's like midday. Which is rare for me because I never record these at day. I always record them in the night. Um. Eh. Yeah, I don't know how much health he has. Like, I wish these bosses would have, like, an actual health bar. Oh, oops. I didn't swing there. Yeah, he's doing the exact same pose, like, over and over again. He's not even changing it up. Yeah, usually on um, that part, I'll try to shield bash him, but the thing is, um, I can barely hear the sound, and when I play this on my own time, I can, you know, usually hear the sound. So, um, more than anything, I'll listen for sound cues and actually um, physical cues, what, they, what the characters do in-game, if that makes any sense. 
which I, I could have thought that I... Oh, um, <laughs> I should not have gotten that. I don't know why it gave me that. And there we go. I believe that's the it. That's, that's the it. Enough of this foolishness. I am Gira, um, demon lord. Exclamation point. It shouldn't matter how- Oh, <laughs> the text isn't slow anymore. I wanted to keep reading like that. You filthy scamp. You have awakened a wrath that will burn for eons. Or will it? See, and then, like, he, he's mad, and then all of a sudden he just goes back to, like, being calm. Like, okay. Yeah, this video is 30 minutes. Man, <clears throat> I think there's also, like, another little cutscene, which I don't know. Birdies! There's birdies up here. Nice. <laughs> Give me your heart container. Give me... You got a heart container. Your life has increased by one. Now I can take, like, one more hit, because everything in this game does, like, one hard damage, except if it's, like, an arrow. For some reason, I think an arrow only takes, like, half of your d health away. For some reason. <clears throat> so we'll do this, and then we'll call it a video. No. <laughs> I don't know why I stopped doing it. But now we are about to get the true Master Sword. The Master Blade. The, the masters of all blades, no man, I think. Because this is the last flame, right? We got the green one and the blue one, so yeah, this is the last one of the Fire of Din. Is this the one that makes the sword beams um, do more damage? Because I know when you get all three upgrades, they get, like, all of the upgrade or, um, upgrades, as in, like, the flames, I'm pretty sure they all do something. Let's see. <laughs> Go, he's like, do it. Hold the blade, your majestic blade. <coughs> mm. So I believe this is gonna give me the dormant. Um, oh my voice, the dormant master sword. So I think I actually have to like get the song pieces for it to become uh, the true master sword or something like that. I'm not sure. Let's see though. I think it gives me the dormant master sword. It might not even be called the dormant the dormant master sword. I'm not exactly sure. But this last one does change the appearance of the sword, like, drastically, I think. Let's see. Change! Boom, yeah, see, it actually it changes it a lot. Sacred Light? Let's see, is this the Dormant one, or is this a Master Sword? This isn't the... This isn't the true Master Sword, because the, the true Master Sword is like the... Well, I mean, this is the Master Sword, but this isn't the Master Sword at its fullest power, if that makes any sense. Because Zelda has to, like, bless the sword or something. I like that. I'm not sure. But th the sword looks a lot cooler, which, that that's always a plus, right? It's green. The hilt of it is, like, green and, like, swirly. Looks cool. Oh, no. The Triforce. The Trees Force. The, the Force of the Trees. Yes. Master. <laughs> now that it has been tempered, yet yeah, tempered, by the last of the sacred flames, your blade is now the the, the, the the true master sword you hold. Although it's not the powered master sword, I guess it's it's still the master sword. I don't know why I'm like going on about this. Like you know what I mean, but, but I'm like acting like no one understands me, and I'm, probably no one does. Would you like to save the progress? Cancel. I've already explained this. I don't like to save the progress until I'm, uh, I've actually re done recording the video so I can play it back and, like, if something got corrupted, then it's like, oh, I'm screwed. Which, I could go on, like, a whole rant about that. But anyway, I'm gonna stop the video here, guys. So, in the next one, we are going to go back up to the sky of Loft and do what we have to do. Upgrade, shenanigans, whatever. So, see you guys later, and goodbye.